Welcome to our 2019 Night Rebels first look video where I'm going to be sharing with you our first look at the new challenge for 2019. We have one new challenge. It is called Smashing Pumpkins. It is a rework of Stop Hazardous Shipment where instead of smashing crates, yes, you are, you guessed it, smashing pumpkins. And also fighting animated pumpkins and playing a little hide-and-seek game with a spectral kobold and searching for a hidden pumpkin. And um, It's kind of a moderate length challenge you know some of the challenges are super short like uh, you know haver dashed and under new ravagement and some of them are a little bit longer like uh, you know hey weird foundry this one's kind of medium I think it could be done very quickly with the group if you're splitting up and breaking all the pumpkins uh, in any event uh, in a few minutes we'll get to that now I want to show you some of the new items uh, actually all of the new items that come out this year uh, make sure you stop in here at Joe Candy Maker outside of Delira's Graveyard Gate and you can click show me your wares and see what's new every year we get a new cosmetic uh, Reaper plate mail and helmet and cloak to match so we have the original color there was the red for year two the green was year three and now we have the long-awaited purple which I'm very excited to get for voodoo it is really hot looking and uh, you know make sure you check that out if you're interested uh, we did get some other interesting items as well this year, uh, which include uh, new variations on on the Spectral Dagger. So, you know, you remember the Spectral Dagger, right? I mean, this was a really cool, there was the Throwing Dagger, and then there was the, the regular uh, right here. Uh, I really like uh, the Spectral Dagger because the level 8 version has Vorpal. It made it a really, really nice... Uh, Vorpal for heroic questing. You know, Vorpals are really nice in, in heroic reaper questing. And what is particularly interesting about the spectral weapons is they are made of force. So that means they won't take damage from, like, you know, rust monsters and oozes. Uh, and, you know, there's a level 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and 28 version of each, each with, you know, progressively better stats. The level 4 version does not have Vorpal. That doesn't come to the level 8 version. But we do have uh, this year. We have new spectral weapons, including a spectral longbow. Bow users rejoice. A spectral great crossbow. Pretty nice. A spectral great axe. And a spectral warhammer. So those are real nice adds. Um, unfortunately, some of the stats on some of the older items uh, did not get updated that were in sorry need of... Uh, of being updated like you know a level 16 cloak of night with dodge two percent that's dodge two percent is pretty lame for a level 16 item so um some of the older items you know in my opinion still need to get updated stats in any event there's lots of good stuff if you're not familiar with night revels make sure that you take a look at all this stuff right here at joe candy maker and uh definitely some nice nice things you're not going to want to uh miss you know, this event is going to run through november 3rd and you can also click on the show me your consumables that's a separate list of items uh, this is you know a, a nice time to stock up on your rubies of ghostbane and vampire slayer and endless night and your dc casters you know if you're a wisdom or intelligence based caster you want to stock up on these diamonds of festive wisdom and intelligence plus two that stacks with like you know everything else very nice and i also want to make a special note that these uh almond coated shadow apple and the dark swirl caramel bite and the sweet cinnamon cloud uh, these are not consumables despite them being on the consumables list uh, and despite what their text would suggest these are actually like semi-permanent clickies they're going to last uh, probably until next night revels even though it says they'll disappear at the end of 2019 in years past they've always lasted right up until the next night rebels like last year's versions just disappeared like a month ago so uh these provide nice little bonuses to like you know melee and range spell power universal spell power uh, prr and mrr and dodge and it lasts an hour there's no minimum level and uh, it has a two hour cooldown so take a look at those things those are really nice i always get those they're super cheap quick to farm and with chocolates, you can get potions of death ward and potions of restoration. This isn't less a restoration. This is like the remove negative level kind of restoration. So super cheap 
and if you're farming out chocolates make sure that you purchase a draft of midnight that is not a drought drought is spelled with an o and that means like a lack of rain this is draft like you know phonetically spelled d-r-a-f-t this is like the old english spelling in any event stop calling this a drought uh, if you drink one of these which you can get from the ddo store or you can just get them with some of the ingredients that you get from the challenges uh, this will increase the number of chocolates that you get like times a bazillion i mean you'll get so many chocolates with these and you really want to stock up on those potions of death ward and lesser restoration you can also get some some uh, summons clickies the consumables that will summon creatures those are kind of nice and heroic questing so make sure you take a look at this list too because there's lots of useful stuff and that's all i want to mention for what's new at joe candy maker and stuff I also want to remind you that as of last year, the key farming method has changed. It's no longer like an open public instance where everybody's just fighting infinite spawns. It is now a private six-person dungeon instance that kind of works like a challenge. And if you're interested in seeing how you can quickly farm that out, last year I posted a video of me farming that with a fire sork in about two and a half minutes. And uh, if you want to see how you can do that, I'll put a link in this video description to that speed run of key farming. Okay, here we go with our first look of the new 2019 Night Revels Challenge, Smashing Pumpkins. Okay, Smashing Pumpkins pays black apples. Let's do this on 35. So this is the new challenge this year. I have no idea. You know, all these challenges are a, re a rework of a segment of a quest some of them are actually the whole dungeons because like you know under new ravagement is a rework of stand your ground which is just one room and haberdash is a rework of haberdasher which is just one room but like for example hey weird foundry is just a segment of von four it's not the whole quest so i have no idea what to expect here this is all of us That is weird. I was going to clear out this old warehouse, but it has become overrun by the presence of Maybar. What happened here? A bunch of kobold workers died mysteriously down here. Maybe because of all the forces of darkness were able to infiltrate this place. Say, would you do me a favor and help me clean up the mess? All these pumpkins and whatever else might still be in here. I've got to go, sure. Hey, Twitchy Poo. We're doing the new Night Revels Smashing Pumpkins Challenge. In which we actually have to smash pumpkins. That's great. to smash 50 pumpkins are there even any mobs in here or is it just smashing pumpkins there's a key on the other side of that gate that's locked there is oh it's through the door door with signal crystals on either side. Keep smashing his crates. Here's that key. Now we can go back around, I guess. 
No, it opens this gate right here beside us. Right here, right here. Keys needed here. Where I'm standing. No, there's no time limit. There's key, key, key. That's great. I got one crest. Rubble. I just really feel like Chair Brock should be playing right now. Hey look, monsters. Can you mail bind on account stuff? I don't think so. Here's the crest pole bucket. Smash a hundred more pumpkins. That? I got ninety seven. That's a lot. Animated pumpkins. They didn't. There's a cut to Be Dead kobold, crate fell on kobold, no fun at all. <laughs> Poor kobold. No, it's all good, dude. Tanks, you gonna be playing again, or is today just like a one-off? Sweet. As I saw you, you were on a few weeks ago, but then... Then we didn't see you for a few weeks. So, what's with it? Oh, play hide and sneak with the sneak at. You just gotta find them. I guess that's one of the optionals. This seems like it's gonna be a really long challenge. Click on him, he'll disappear. On top of it. Now it says meet him in the antechamber. Oh, look at all the pumpkins.
another dead cobalt. Oh, we just completed it. We got 206,000 XP for that. Wow. There's a lever up here, just like in the boundary one. Dead cobalt. And a collectible. Optional, find the hidden pumpkin. Huh. We oh, didn't. There was an. Uh, I think there was an area in the middle there. I see a place. Yeah, in, in the south over here. In the middle. Door. Here's a, a gate that is locked. Maybe a hidden door somewhere. I'm just going to some of the areas that are still shaded. Do you have Naki, Joe? Oh, that's lame. You roll a 20 on a knock and fail? Damn. You found a, a secret door? No, there's a grate back here that's locked. This got a chest. I opened it. Junk chest, I, I guess. Here. I wonder if maybe there's some like translucent boxes and the hidden pumpkin is like in it. You know how they do have the translucent boxes and like subversion? I found a pumpkin we didn't hit but didn't have anything in it. You found it? Where was it? Where? Okay, on my way. Ah, Is the bat lever. That remember I said there was a lever at the end. It had it had this bat um, thing. Oh, the bat thing. Yeah, near it, and so that opened up this door. And there was mm -hmm. a pumpkin in here, huh? And you get a, a junk chest. Hmm. Man, that seems like a long challenge. Yeah, you if you split up. Yeah, I guess that could probably go real yeah. quick in a full party, like everybody's splitting up, everybody goes a different way.